Okay, everyone, this is going to be a quick one. I've heard people say that, actually, lots of the reviewers of this say that this battery doesn't work. You see there's no tab on it, so they say you have to get one with a tab, but I really like these uh, Sony batteries. Apparently, they're pretty good. So, I'm going to show you something really quick you can do to make them work. I don't know how people don't think of this, but you know, you, what you can do is you just take this, you pull it out a little bit, and it's sturdy, it's not like flimsy or anything, so you don't have to worry about cracking it or anything. You just pull it out a bit. Now, you gotta look inside here, it'll say positive and negative, so there's your positive side here, your negative side here. And on the battery, it's a little tricky to see, but if you look, it has the positive right here, and it has the negative right here. So, you just look at that, oh, positive, let's stick the positive side on the positive side and the negative on the negative side. We're gonna stick that in there. It's in there pretty good. It's not falling out or anything. So we're gonna stick the cover on and... <laughs> We are good to go. See that? Does it turn on? There we go. It's working fine. So hopefully uh, that helped you out. Now you can use any battery and it doesn't have to have a tab or anything. And I've been doing this for a little while and there's been no problems. It's not falling out or anything. So just grab that little tab, pull it out a bit and you are golden. If that helped you, please like the video. Consider subscribing. My channel's all about sub 250 stuff and I'm gonna be doing a little bit more stuff with this controller too. Teach you how to set it up and all that stuff too. Okay, have a good one.